All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And I'm sorry I didn't post a video yesterday, Monday. I know it's supposed to be a Minecraft video, but I was busy um, because I have some homework and from school. And I just want to take a little break from YouTube just to refreshen up my brain and just get ready for school and stuff. Because unfortunately, uh, I care about school and care about getting my grades up and stuff like that. Whatever, let's not get into that. We're back today. And if you guys saw my last video, which I posted today, that was my... Uh, 600 slash 500 subscriber would you rather video if you guys enjoyed it um i, I worked hard on it i hope you guys find it entertaining i will be doing my live stream soon guys i just you know i need to find time and everything um and yeah if you guys have another any other days for a 600 subscriber special too leave, let me know and by the way guys i will not be doing a special for every time i hit 100 more subscribers like for 700 800 900 because it's gonna take too long because i for um i don't want to mean me but i just reached those goals really quickly now apparently about less than ever, uh, less than a month I already reached the goals but it's all thanks to you guys so thank you so much but anyway it is today welcome back to the tutorial and some, some of you guys have been requesting this and i think it's a really cool and really um really a good looking um good looking effect on your text or your objects if if you have um, if you want to do this type of effects you guys know what an intro looks like right it had pops up and then as a little shine that's going from left to right from the text you guys saw it in the intro and i'll show you right here as you can see it has a little shine that's going from left to right right there see that little shine right there it's slightly brighter and it's going from left to right um if you make if you add that um effect um correctly and at the right time and fast enough it looks so good in your intros and any any video effects work any really um people usually do this for text for logos like it, it could also be do done for an object like totally um this is easier a lot easier to do and a lot nicer looking to do in after effects but um this is just a simple tutorial on how to do it for sony vegas pro 13 because there are not a lot of tutorials of that up uh, on youtube right now so uh, we're going to be making something similar to that so um basically um all I'm gonna do is put in your logo. This is this is my Just New Yorkers website logo. Um, this logo. Oh, actually no. This is this is it right here. Yeah, here here it is. Um, <clears throat> this logo is on the website. Is on my website. Not really on my website, but just you know, it's the logo that I'm gonna be exampling you on. And um, yeah. So first things first. What you wanna do is um, add an effect to it to make it brighten because um. Uh, you need to you, know, you need to have the actual glint effects. You need a brighten glint. So you want to go to video effects, brightness, and contrast. I rec really recommend adding very bright or um, yeah, very bright right there. So that is what the glint will look like. Like once you start animating, adding keyframes and masking, the the glint that going from left to right, the animated glint will be this bright as you see everything. But it won't be the whole thing. You need to mask it out and everything first. You can make it even brighter if you want, but. Uh, uh, don't make it too bright that you can't really see it. You need to make it just a, a, sh a slight shine, glint, just to make it look better quality and stuff like that. So first thing you want to do is go to the event pan crop. Wait, and then when you go, you have to go to the mask right there and then click on the enable checkbox. First thing you want to do is where it says mask. Um, if if this is if this is all like that, you want to um, click mask and then plus the plus the plus on the position and the plus and the plus on the path. Um, and then what you gotta do is go to apply to effects. Yes, that means that the mask will um actually affect the glint on it. So the glint will only show up in the mask itself. So that's why you need to click that. So what you're gonna do now is just make your mask. You need to make it um a little diagonal line, or you can make it a straight line if you want. I like making a diagonal line so it looks like you went from top to bottom. So I go to the anchor creation tool, tool which is D on your keyboard. And then click, make a little line sliver slash thing right there. It doesn't have to be, it, it looks better if it's not a perfect rectangle. Then what you gotta do is go to the normal edit tool. And then if, if that doesn't show up automatically, like if it's like that, you just double click it and then that will show up. So go to about, I recommend um, one second, like you can see the time there. But don't just go blow, like blow, maybe like 20 key fr 20 frames. And then what you gotta do now is literally, um, you see that where you need you see um, go into the um, the 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 mask right there and you see like the little cross go from right left to right right there perfect now that will show up in the keyframe and as, as you can see it's moving at the start here it will and once you go it'll go left to right and then once you watch that on the video boom as you can see it does that glint so it does that glint let me uh, just show you in slow mo right there let, let's make it even more slow as you can see bam it's going 
and it's really cool effect. I really like this effect, guys. I think this is really, um, really good to add to your, your intros and your effects and your graphics. So let me just loop that for you so you can keep on looking at what it looks like. I think this is a really good effect to add your intros, and it'll re really make all your logos and animations and 2D graphics look a lot better. So this is just a quick tutorial. If this helped you guys, please leave a like below. Um, or if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike. But uh, anything really helps me. Just thank you guys so much for watching that video. I'm sorry about that. I will see you all of you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. And you can make a really cool effect like that. Peace out, guys.